10-day Lamosha route consists of 8 days on the mountain, plus the arrival day and departure day. We recommend this route because of its spectacular views, fewer people, and more than the 90% success rate. Day 1. The trip starts with your arrival date at Kilimanjaro International Airport. You should depart the plane quickly, and if you haven't already, get into the line for visas. Once through customs, pick up your bags and exit the airport toward the parking lot to be transferred to your hotel in Moshi. At the hotel, you'll be given a trip briefing. Day 2. The first morning, we drive to Londa Rosa Gate of Kilimanjaro National Park. After signing in, you'll be driven to the Lamosha Trailhead. While the guides and porters weigh the gear, you'll begin your trek through the rainforest. The first night will be spent at Lamosha Forest Camp at 8,700 feet. Day 3. After breakfast, the trek continues through the rainforest. The trees gradually give way to giant heather as we gain more elevation and enter into the moorland zone. The trail climbs steadily with vast views until you reach the Shear Plateau. Your camp is at Shear 1 at 11,600 feet. Day 4. On day 4, you'll do an acclimating hike to Shear Cathedral at 12,800 feet. The view of the clouds below is breathtaking. After a snack, you'll descend to Shira Hut, which is 12,600 feet. This campsite has stunning views of the glaciers on Kibo and the jagged rim of Shira Plateau. Day 5. The morning begins with a long gradual climb toward Lava Tower at 15,150 feet. At Lava Tower, you'll stop for lunch beneath the glaciers of the Western Breach. Afterward, you'll continue down through the ground salt trees into the Bronco Valley. You'll camp at Bronco Camp at 12,800 feet. As you approach the camp, watch for the infamous Bronco Wall on your left. This camp is sheltered by towering cliffs and a stunning view of the valley below. Day 6 The day will begin by watching the steady crowd of trekkers ascend the Bronco Wall. The wall is not as intimidating as it had looked the previous day. At the top, you'll stop and admire the stunning view before continuing your journey. We will follow the rolling trail to the camp at Karanga at 13,100 feet. Along the way, you'll be treated to the amazing views of the southern glacier fields. The terrain now changes to dry scree with pockets of less vegetation tucked in among the mounds of rock. Day 7 After breakfast, you'll follow the trail on compact scree surrounded by 360-degree views. It will be a short hike to Barafu Hut at 14,800 feet. The remainder of the day will be spent resting in preparation for the early morning final ascent. Day 8, Summit Night. Despite going to bed early, try to get some sleep. You'll start your ascent by headlamp around 1 a.m., hoping to reach the crater rim by sunrise. It will be cold, dark, and exhausting, but also exhilarating knowing you're just a few short hours from the summit. The climb is steep, up never-ending switchbacks over loose volcanic scree. A slow, steady pace will take you to Stella Point at 18,800 feet just after sunrise. You'll rest there for a short time before completing your mission of making it to Huro Peak at 19,341 feet. Along the way, you'll pass close to spectacular glaciers and ice cliffs that still occupy most of the summit area. The descent to Barafu will be surprisingly fast, and after some refreshments and a short nap, you'll continue your descent to your final campsite, Millennium Camp, at 12,500 feet. After a nap, you'll be entertained by the tipping ceremony. 
Day 9. After a good night's sleep, you'll awake refreshed from the grueling previous day. Today you'll complete the final leg of your journey. Your hike may be accompanied by a slight rain as you descend the path through the rainforest to the Kilimanjaro National Park gate at Maweka at 5400 feet. Once outside the park, you'll continue through coffee and banana farms to the Maweka village, where you'll be transferred to your lodge in Moshi. Day 10, departure day. Today you may be transferred to a JRO for your flight home, or you may go on to Zanzibar or a safari. The 10 day Lamosha is one of our favorite routes on the mountain. As you can see, it has excellent views throughout the hike. Since it is a longer route, it really helps climbers acclimatize to the altitude.